floor. Fallen holding the angle on the corner, facing multiple opponents, unfortunately for him, and he will die. FNX got to be patient for those headshots, spamming a little bit, not going to make a fatal connection. That's just allowing Liquid to get close. Nice pop flash. They have two men of utility in this round. CC's forced back. First coming in on the high ground from short. You see Le Liege on the goose there. On the goose there. He's uh, Le Liege. got the USP as well. Which will almost triple the range for headshots. The one shot, the kills. Nice by Ni a Nitro. Again, patient shooting from him. This is looking good for Liquid. Four versus two at present. Taco trying to close the distance, but his face will be closed with a bullet. That is the end of the round for him. Another pistol round lost by SK. Doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. And like I said before, Dust 2 for spies for CTs suck. So I'm going to be curious to see how SK can, what they can do against it. Because you expect Liquid to run a pretty strong anti eco round to anti four spy round. So, I mean, the majority of players didn't invest fully here. Just Farrow and Hold Zero. Taco on the other hand, just an eagle. That position always makes, it, always makes me think of Freiburg on the uh, double crates there. And, well, easy entry from Liquid. Again, it's one of the two strategies you run. The two optimal anti eco strategies you run. Two players left for the T's. Oh, goodbye. I wonder if Hiko shot through a teammate there. Either way, the kill has been made. Fallen, the last one. Double scoots on Liquid. They've abandoned the web the website. I keep saying website instead of bomb site. Why do I do this? They've abandoned the website. Well, someone's gone back to keep an eye on the bomb. Smart stuff. Because we've seen... It was against Liquid, wasn't it? That ninja on A. Mm -hmm. Like a year in. It was like a... Uh, I think... Was it when Threat was... I think it was when Threat was with us in the old studio. And I think that was... That would have been around Valencia time. Or that, like, I think probably a month before Valencia last year. So it would have been a good year and two, three months ago. Um, would... that? I mean, that, that was when that ninja was. It seems like it should be longer ago, but everything seems to move so quickly in, in Counter-Strike. It's... it's it's kind of crazy. It's been a short we get up to two, a lot three down. years. Yeah. We get up to a lot. I mean, we've been doing this two years now together. Anyway, nostalgia can wait. They could be running another anti-eco round. And again, I just I just love it. And this is one of the reasons why I feel like... I feel like if you know Liquid, right? And Liquid run anti-force buys. If you're going to force buy, you need to... You need to roll the dice and like put four of your players on B, or four of your players on A, or even everybody. Just just go with the full gamble because you know they're going to try to run one of the optimal plays, and that's when it gets interesting. That's when you kind of in you know you incentivize them in the future matchups against you to maybe not do those optimal plays. Maybe they have to find a, a third round to go to instead of the the two common ones, and then you know the typical mix up of those two. Are we going to go A? Are we going to go B? That sort of situation. So. Because SK, I mean, okay, Fallen will have an AWP saved completely, but they could have more money. They could have more monies. Although I know that SK do really, really want to get as much economic pressure as possible at all times. So I respect that as well. And uh, either way, Liquid, though, they, they've done a great job. It's only Hiko that's low on money. Everybody else is uh, pretty stacked. Marvelous stuff. Marvelous. Are they going? They're going straight into the B-bomb site. This is what I'm talking about. Just looking to break. The buy of a team immediately by charging into B. We see it on overpass, we see it on Dust2 as well, forcing SK into a sticky situation. Three players on A, it's pretty much a save from them. But if they can kill Pimp in a situation, then maybe that changes. Moving towards uh, B now is Fur. The flank has failed for Liquid, didn't have the best gun for the job. How far will SK commit? The retakes may be more difficult than some of the plays against TSM. That smoke will stop. Nitro from having the normal angle over the window, over the Xbox, and there's one player in. Fur looking around, he doesn't see anybody just yet. Liege, the second frag for him. That should cancel things out for the CT side. Nice shot there by Fallen. He will escape. If you're, um, if the bomb's planted on default, and oh, never mind. 
<laughs> and you talk about your Molotov again. Is this going to be no, a no, 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 no. It was about um, on B ramp, the corner of the wall that you stand in when you throw the pop flash opposite off the other other corner. You can stand there in sort of crossing uh, the mid peak when the bomb goes off. But I forgot how much life you're left with. Ah. Yeah, but you can survive there, basically. But you can't survive oh. when you're facing Fallen and Miss. Stop, Fallen, you're so good. How are you so good? It is somewhat ridiculous, no? Imagine just cloning Fallen. Just have five Fallens on the team. Imagine that. I'd rather have SK. Everybody fits into their role. You'd have four Fallen who uh, are not playing their role then. And then you have a bad team. You've made a mistake. <laughs> Shut up, there. Just get them all ops. Enjoy your it's second. Like enjoy your second place at the major, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> this still our second place. I, I think this is a worthy investment. Hey, but I'll be first. So, so far so good from Liquid. I mean, they know how to. I mean, I mean so this is um, th this is one of those spots as well where by Liquid get that good start, and. I, by the way, just just as a as a secondary thought here, look at the pressure SK always have. In every round, they want to have pressure on you, even if you clearly won the round. A lot of teams they save in these situations. SK always opting to pressure until they're just fallen left with an AWP. Um, but going back to my point, one of the interesting things about a lot of um, high-level esports titles is that oftentimes you can get into a spot where the path is quite clear, uh, the path of advantage is quite clear. So you'll pick up the advantage early into the matchup, and then, for example, you're in the position, like you know, we were saying with Liquid, where they rush B against the Bive SK. This is like a, a pretty, pretty quite high success rate strategy for them, and they pretty much know to run this probably against SK most of the time. And are they doing it again? Are they doing it again? They're running in. They're going for it again, James. I love, love it. I love this. Let's do it. Cold is in position, though, and Taco is his, he could be a looming threat, but he has to peek now, and the jewels have been won again. We've got Hiko this time waiting for the flank, but first looking for it, but look, it's away. Holds the wrong angle, well, holds holds an angle, but Hiko's uh, even more hidden. Bomb's only just gone down now. FNX is gonna charge in. He's in it to win it, through the smoke, straight to his doom. Fallen won't hold on to the AWP on this occasion. Liquid off to a roaring start. Okay, so to quickly finish the point I was going to make there is that to play out the path of advantage means that early in the match, there's not many variables yet because not many rounds have been played. So Liquid knows that they know exactly how much money SK would have. They know that SK would probably play fairly defensively, meaning that the B push is actually like a really strong way to play against that. But as rounds go on, the mind games come in. Things get complicated. But I love that they just scrap they rush B again. I can't wait to see that continuation. Elige has been really strong in entry fragging so far. He could this time pulling out the entry frag as they mix things up to go for A. And this is looking like a scramble here for SK to get into position. And that is not going to be beneficial because they're going to get annihilated there by Nitro. Super fast rounds making it really hard for SK to react to what's going on here. Taiko getting a nice shot onto Pimp. All the Liquid players are on long now. They still have some utility to slow Fallen down. But if he's alive then you're going to have problems. Going for the jumping peak. Not sure if he made the connection there. Don't think he did. No, it was a leash behind the box. Again, jumping uh, shots. Not what they were. Eco off the site. That nade would have maybe killed him otherwise. Waiting for opportunity. Waiting for peaks. But Liquid are set up nicely between long and ramp. They've got a nice crossfire. And Elish can watch Eco's back. So unless somebody goes long, which they don't have time to do, they're pretty well set up here. Facing and Taco won't be able to retreat. Again, it's Fallen alone, wondering what he can do to change the fortunes of SK at the moment. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Hiko's leading the team at the moment. I think it was Nitro, but now it has the hands, the chains of command have gone to Hiko. Back to Hiko, all right. That's probably good. Probably good. Oh, the money is amazing for Liquid. It's beautiful. So, I mean, I feel like now we're starting to get out of, outside of this kind of the path of the advantage idea. This is an interesting concept. I think it's a maybe make a video about this, James. Anyway, Liquid I'm in a position where if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Straight into B. <coughs> Alij, if he's on point with the entries again, they're going to have a horrible time here. And indeed, Alij gets both entries with the help of Hiko. And SK, you can see they even had three players sitting there waiting for the push to come in. They still couldn't stop it. You this got a nice smile. They could not even get a frag. Not even a frag. 
And finally, Fallen dies. He's been surviving so many times in these rounds with the orb. This time he will die, though. He was able to uh, buy an orb again, which is likely the reason. I mean, he wanted to maybe get some, some damage in there. But 8-0, SK are getting completely crushed. But it's from brilliant play from Liquid. I really li enjoy it. Yeah, it's great stuff. SK going to continue a reasonably, reasonably normal setup, but for fast on short, JDM with perfect timing again. If you're in T spawn, there's a blind spot on short, moving into suicide alleviates that, as well as the lower area. He's pretty on point there, but uh, Fallen not going to take much damage from those doors. I still remember when those doors came in to play. R.I.P. Wooden Doors. I this is the position wood. I was talking about. Where Cold Zero is standing there, you can survive a default bomb plant there if you have full health. Ooh. Or is it double stack? It's one of the two. I don't remember now. Oh, no. I just realized JDM's on the server, James. I just realized that. Because we haven't gotten to see much of him because it's just rifle, dynamic rifle rounds for days. Entry frags from Hiko, from uh, from Elise, just uh, over and over again. JDM hasn't even been a factor just yet until that entry frag, really. And, you know, Pimp has often been kind of lurking in some lurker roles. And there was one awesome spot in the round previously we didn't get to talk about. And we'll have to hold off on that for, for now because we've got Cold coming in here to cut off one of the players. It is, in fact, JDM this time. Unfortunate there. He'll be left for dead. But his teammates will get onto the bomb plot. Missed the play by the door, but they hit a spray. Cold, got to be careful. Cold and Fallen tagged. Fallen has little choice. Two versus two, though. Down goes Cold, but uh, don't count falling out that meaty nade, though. Oh, no. Top-down view as well. That's disgusting. <laughs> perverted observers in production. Can confirm they are perverted to the extreme. 9-0. Funnily enough, um, Hiko loves to AWP on this map in Pugs. Always good to watch Hiko play <laughs> on this map. Or in general. What is... Okay, that's fine. Double up now from uh, from Liquid, which is an interesting choice because this is a really big change of pace to have two orbs. Pimp going for the picks towards B, quite awesome actually because again, there's been so much aggression towards B that you might even you might expect an aggression there uh, from SK. So you put one of your two orbs there. I like that. Pimp gets the pick up as well as they play quite loose on the B bomb site right now, and the rest of the team goes towards the A bomb site. So this is the other anti eco type uh, anti force spy round that we haven't really seen much of because Liquid have just been hammering that B bomb site on the buy rounds, on the anti-force buys, but now they go A, so they mix it up here. And they're keeping, again, this is really a cool uh, a way to keep advantages as well, is because you have the advantages as a tease, you can dictate what's going on in the round, so you can keep things simple. You can keep things, the variables, uh, mostly under control by playing simple, and that's what they've been doing. They've, they've just had to connect the shots, and they've been doing that within their strategies. So it's hard for SK to answer back. This is this is a great match, for, uh, I think, to review for people if you want to uh, basically add some stuff to your own team and how they should be, or how you can try to play some rounds. Because there's a lot of structure here from Liquid, but it's also simple. Four orps on the server. Seen more on Dust2 in the Oceanic region. I think we might have seen six orps before. Anyway. See what the difference is. SK not going to be conditioned to have extra people in B by the play of the liquid side. Pimp on the second orb for his team. Wonder if we'll ever see Hiko orb in a professional match. Not right now. Cold falling off the corner, which maybe saves him. I might think he might have been dinked on the way. This time the B push is not working out. JDM's got to be careful. He's carrying the bomb. If he goes down, it could be the round. They're keeping the dream alive for the moment. Shoulder peak comes in. Spots Cold Zero, but he can't find a kill. Cold's in trouble now. He needs to waste time, but nobody's anywhere near him. And down he goes. Two versus two. Liquid in control of the bomb site. Looks like the round was over. But JDM had other ideas. So this is a much better look for SK than there has been for a while. 2v2 retake onto the beast bomb site though is tough. We get uh, the swap out for the rifle. JDM whiffs the shot. That's an important whiff. That means that he changes his position, which maybe makes it a little bit more open here. Oh, Hiko with both kills. FNX did not know what hit him there. That bullet, like threading the needle there from Hiko. 11 to 0.
Tap, tap. Super patient play. No way back into this one. Man. So calm under pressure. And it well, helps him play better. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Hiko on the first bullet. 11 to 0. Do we start asking if the dream is real? Do we start asking? Two players towards long. There's a... Uh, oh, no. It's caught in the corner. We trades, though. Two more players here for the uh, for the CT side. Got to be careful. Fallen. Stuck. That short... That bomb uh, explosion. The grenade just short there. Fallen manages to escape with some handily timed flashbangs. Let's bear in mind, he has no armor in this round. He needs those orbs. Rest of his team on rifles and a UMP. Now liquid with four players in long. They don't have map control. Furs very deep in short. Ooh. That's interesting. The inverse approach. It's a nice smoke. Need to learn that one. That's a great smoke. It's a very nice smoke. Making the... Oh, Fallen. How many more can he find? That would have been very gross. Again, short in control of SK. Cold Zero around the smoke. Are oh, there flashes coming in? He's creeping. No one's covering the angle. Well, JDM's in, uh, in, uh, on the ramp, actually. Oh, he's come close. And down he goes. Fur will be eliminated by Pimp. Both players on the site now. And again, Taco's coming up from short. Picked up a rifle. Only had a Deagle a second ago. Pimp going wide, but he can't get the kill. Cold Zero only got 20 HP. Nitro has no idea where Taco's coming from. There he is. Can he find a headshot, though? He can. They keep the clean sheet, Dan. How far can they go? Yeah, if they keep this up, I, I feel like that right now they're my favorite Dust 2 team right now. They keep this going. It's just, I just love the simplicity, but the the, the solid execution of these uh, these plays. And their money is just amazing still. I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? to SK, right now, wh what do they fear the most? What do they fear the most from Liquid? Is it that B-Rush? Is it the long take? Liquid running a default round at the moment. They're running a default. They're slowing the pace down. They've been playing so far, so aggressive. So far. And it has been great for them. We get a bit of a peek into middle there from Elige. Hungry. Hungry for those frags, but just uh, making sure there's nobody behind the double doors and meet, like in the immediate vicinity of the double doors. And now he can progress to catwalk. The classic default here. The timing is just is also st very standard for when they arrive onto catwalk. Typically now, as you would expect, the mid info play, although typically you would have already seen that just, just before they moved to catwalk, depending on, on how much they want to commit to it. Cold Zero is ready though, he's got the pop flash. They have an anti-B sp uh, split set up ready, but I think the A split is probably what will be hitting them. And that would be definitely a strong choice. I wonder what will they go with? How do they interpret the round? Because they haven't gotten the info actually. So whatever they do, it's going to end up being a blind read. Yeah, the slow pace may play into the hands of SK, but SK, who are very limited on utility, that flashbang has gone completely wrong. That was obvious from the start. That was never going to hit short, uh, hit CT spawn rather. At least flashes himself, goes down for free. Taco's position now, the blind spot. Will this be checked? It's not going to be checked. Taco goes for the first player, but he's got the UMP. Pimp with a headshot, 180 as well. And now the favor is back with Liquid. Fallen. Is he willing to try and stop the plant to push through the flash? Where did that come from? Again, Pimp looking for the high ground. Fallen spots it as well. But it's not to his advantage. He gets a kill anyway. Not even a penetration kill. <laughs> I don't even know how that was possible. Fallen is just so, so oh, dangerous, man. man. Take your advantages. Don't wait for them. Just take them, says Nitro. Liquid. Out of a tight spot. But Pimp, man, I, I wonder if we get the kiss he is killed. Yeah, we do, because look, Bosch, and then Spin, Bosch. That, that's that's really important, because I thought for sure he would die. And if he died there, I think they likely lose the round, because the TTs have a crossfire on the next player. So at best, they're trading. And so I think the CTs have an advantage. So Pimp saved them. Pimp has had, I think, a lot of one-on-ones that haven't quite gone his way, but that was one of the most important ones. So that's what counts, I guess. And uh, yeah, things looking pretty problematic now here for SK. I mean, James was saying, "Is the dream real?" To to uh, describe what you talk, you're talking, uh, he's talking about. He means the 16-0. That is his dream because he's a pervert. Two players outside the long area. No dispute. <laughs> no pop flash going into uh, long doors, but I guess they weren't expecting such aggression. And maybe the dream is dead, Dan, as two players are down now. Again, SK limited on utility. Don't have the best weaponry either. 
They have a hell of a lot of counter flashes though, and they know how to use them. Taco deep towards the entrance to B with his UMP, he wants to be close. Again, a damage fall off is significant on those SMGs. Will they rely on JDM to go for an opening here? Fur playing the goose position, so SK trying to be as tricky as possible. 213 is the best score they can hope for. And they won't they won't feel like they've lost the game just yet. No, never. Not SK. But it's still possible here for Liquids as they move in. Baller makes the first frag. Now JDM's gonna kill everyone. All oh, the flames. There's opportunity here, James. You've got JDM in a one versus three with the bomb down. Oh, the flames are on in his face, basically. That is not something that's going to go down too well for JDM and Liquid. They concede a round. They concede a round. They finally concede a round. Oh my god, SK, best case, two rounds. That is ridiculous. The dream is dead, boys. Everyone go home. Yep. Well, SK, can they get two rounds? That's the question. Can they double their score? Can they have a 100% increase in their score right now? I'm going to say no. That's my prediction. We've got double ops again. Uh, Hiko, he's picked up the op, James. Oh, he's got rid of the op. Okay, he's got the AK again. It's last round. I was, I, was, I was dreaming. I was hoping. I was praying. He's a sensible boy. He is definitely sensible. So another default coming in from Liquids. A little bit different though. Fast timing as they move players down from Suicide into short, so the time is quite quick. And Fur's actually playing double doors. No one's actually entry fragged into double doors. If they did the classic pot flash into peak, you would imagine that Fur would have trouble staying alive, that it would be hard to hold down, but they could have heavy pressure on Catwalk at the moment. Their previous play where they dropped into CT failed horribly, but this round seems like it will be different. They're just going to walk out of mid. Oh, no. Oh! How does the leech get the kill? How does he manage to pull that one off? That is crazy. AK versus an M4, I guess. But still, they had prior warning. Just that's crazy. I mean, that that could have been. That probably would have been like eight out of ten times two kills. Because because the leech, like his teammate, was basically in the way of finding that frag more or less. It's very close. Crazy stuff. SK reduced to playing the off angles now. Taco can hide away. We've got the triple peak coming in, or the double peak with Cold Zero. He can clean up if necessary. Good setup here from SK. JDM last man, and he's not going to do it. So indeed, SK will have the 100% increase. And what an increase that is, Dan, from one round to two. Look at all that gold in, in a row. It's all those ducks in a row. That's amazing. A leash of six, a mere six MVPs. He's taking all the stars for his little badge on his shirt. Shirt pocket, of course. I had a, I knew a guy who went to work with a, a shirt that had a shirt pocket on it once and his boss has ripped it off his shirt. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's aggressive. <laughs> That's highly aggressive. <laughs> I love it. That's an aggressive workplace. He ripped it off his shirt? That's no, he just ripped the pocket off the shirt. Yeah, but still. Do it. It's one way to learn. Not to have pockets on your shirts unless your name's Henry G. I have pockets on the shirts. You're a waste man, that's why. I'm a waste? That's not a very nice thing to say about somebody. <laughs> You're not really. But, why, but why, to why start with the pockets. What, why are you forcing your... What are you going to do? you going to put a pen in there? Uh, You're going to put a pen in your pocket? We'll return to this. We've got the mid push out of SK. The smoke's went down, so JDM can't get too much hit. They are going to do what Liquid did to them. They just hammer that peep on site. Eco finds his way around the side though, really nice maneuverability there. Basically gives up his teammate in the bomb site for free, but it's okay because he lived for a few seconds longer. It's all right because of that. It's fine, everything's fine. So now SK win a crucial pistol round. The road to recovery is long, but uh, they have the power, they have the, all the advantages. They've been given the keys to the city through those do they, mid doors. Do they have the power of Grayskull behind them? We will find out. I have the power. That was a great show. I think most people are probably too young in the audience even to have known about that show. I'm, just, I'm starting to feel my age, I guess, because of that. Yeah, you'd be surprised the age of our audience. They watched He-Man. The average age is actually is actually higher than you think. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's good. Feel less like a man, more like a child again. That's good. I mean, it's like 12 rather than 10. <laughs> oh, Hiko. Nice, nice name. Oh, no, it's Nitro. Sorry. Excuse me. Hiko's already dead. He's all... No, he's not. What am I talking about? This is not a good day for me, I've noticed. Nice. I'm not having a good day, Dan. Maybe have you considered quitting? <laughs> wow. Maybe it's time. Maybe Who it's would time. you replace me with? Producer Reed. No, no. I'd replace you with... Oh, I'd have to, I'd have to think about this. Pepper Pig. Pepper Pig. That'd be good, yeah. No, yeah, that's get the younger crowd in. New generation for CS:GO. No. I'd think about this. Oh, I don't think too much. Yeah, it's, it's right now. It, it is. It's take a lot of focus to think at all. So divert all the brain power back to the Counter Strikes. Maybe Twitter can answer for me. People on Twitter can. My girlfriend is uh, threatening to make a CS:GO Halloween uh, pumpkin. Really? Yeah, but because I'm because I'm not going to be here, she's she's uh, protesting and refusing to do it. Is she gonna put my face on it. Why would she put your face on there? Is that weird? If she puts your face on. I'm gonna smash it to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see Liquid here just trying to trying to creatively isolate some players, but you can just generally see the dilemma of CT Ecos on this map. It's just, it's just the ranges. What are you going to do with the ranges? Well, I guess if you're Hiko, you maybe you can pick up a long-range P250 frag, but generally speaking, your ability to get frags against rifles are very limited, to say the least. Um, when Inferno's back in business, you're going to see a, a very different story there, though. It's a very different story on Inferno. That's going to be an aggressive map, Dan. You think so? Yeah, man. That's going to be violent. Why? Because I don't... I mean, B is a completely different ball game now. It's going to be really hard to defend Banana, and I feel like it may require three people over towards B. That's kind of cool. I mean, it'd be a bit more like 1.6 then. But the thing is, I think I think B might require three people, and I think A might require three people, nice. which is which is very interesting. Uh, so going like, forward, so it's like cobblestone then. But they but they ma they narrowed uh, they narrowed mid slightly. I think top mid. Which is curious. But anyway, we're in a buy round, Dan. We are in a buy round, and Fur has cleared the short area. We've got JDM to his usual, well, one of his usual positions over towards car. And SK are threatening an execute. That Molotov has not gone to the right place. That one has. There we go. Interesting. Uh, they need to have flashes for JDM. He has to be flashed off when they make the approach. Look at this. Pimp's uh, gone close to JDM, actually, which is really cool because Pimp normally... Well, he's gone back now, but Pimp normally uh, is very good at holding down the long area, especially when short is being pushed and or lost. And he may be positioned to go for a fast flank in this situation. Indeed, he's pushing up doors now, so he's going to be top mid. But SK is selling the fake, and they're going to go towards B. JDM and Nitro taken down. Still two plays in the B-bomb fight, though. Elise, your two-man spray down. That's going to buy precious time, especially as Pimp is coming through the tunnel where uh, Taco is. He goes stuck on a site. His silence is going to give him away. Got to be careful. Down goes Taco. T uh, uh, T's ro rotating towards A now. It's a long rotate for Liquid. Pimp going back to long. What a massive hold down by Elise. Elise is awesome at this game. He's so fun to watch. Crazy fragger. At the major, he was making the big plays for the team. Now it's on Pimp, it's on Hiko. Pimp, oh, it just doesn't think to check that position at all, which is a bit strange. Just running tunnel vision on towards a long position, towards car. Hiko now has a really hard problem on his hands. Nice flash there. Hiko still nearly makes a frag, but the round is won by SK after all. They do lose three players, but they'll be fine with that. They just care about rounds. They don't give a damn about anything else at this point. Nice hold. Very nice hold there by Elise. He gave them a chance. He did. That was a position where Zipex was always quite prolific, I have to say, from Astralis. Rip Astralis. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Astralis we know and love, at least. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Kerrigan on the bench, aka soon to be kicked from the team. One well, can only imagine. I, I feel like they're probably trolling. I, got, I just got a feeling they're trolling. Did you see the video that they released with it as well? It looked very trolly. They or Kerrigan? Because Kerrigan released a video sitting on a bench. Yeah. Yeah, well... 
I th I think he's being replaced. Otherwise, why do you do that? It doesn't make any. What, what else? That's the only thing you can do. I'm putting you here, and we're not going to play with you because we want to play someone else. That's all I can imagine it is. But I have absolutely no insight into the situation. It's all a speculation. I don't normally like to speculate, but uh, I will on this occasion. <laughs> On this I wish. I, I wish. Will, I will indulge. I wish they had kept the same roster with Cajun B, and with Carrigan. I don't think they needed to change personnel. Yeah, I agree completely. Actually, I feel like they put a lot of the blame onto Cajun B. I, th I think. I think a lot of. I feel like a degree of changes are down to social pressure, from, you know, from personalities, and then compounded by uh, by talk. By the fans. Essentially, when there's, I feel like there's, there's more to life sometimes than roster changes. Well, I mean, look at Virtus Pro. Uh, Virtus Pro are an interesting example because they have uh, they have all the skill in reality. They have all the experience. All the players are very flexible, and they're all very good. So they're just stuck stuck together through thick and thin, through thick, and mostly thin. But but there's there's something in there as well, so so yeah, it's it's interesting what the long term is like because Counter Strike otherwise, I mean we, we can go back to this point later on because we are back into a buy round here and it is an interesting one, um, and SK going with a default as as you would expect default round from them, will slowly progress down towards middle and maybe take a pop flash peek in through mid before going to catwalk. That's typically how these things go, whether the bomb follows them or not. Remains to be seen if they leave the bomb towards upper dark. You can only imagine that's going to end up uh, being a B play in the end for them. But you have to be afraid of leaving the bomb in, in dark alone because a team like Liquid might actually push. And if they kill the bomb, the round gets complicated. Interesting Molotovs there for the blue position and close to the door. Ooh, and they're going to go with a split on B. Delaying the rotation. I haven't seen anyone split B like this. This is going to work out. if. If only they got no, the kills. Not. If only they got the kills, James. It would have been awesome. Pretty sure it's not going to work out then. But they didn't. So now it just it's just horrible. Yeah, it's a nice idea. And again, that's that's a a set of grenades that I've never seen from SK. But that kind of thing can throw you off. Anyway, they've got two kills of their own now, SK, and they've still got 35 seconds here. Fallen, waiting for a push, waiting for somebody to offer themselves up to try and react to give. SK, another opening. Off angle being played underneath the window. And there's the fade away from Cold Zero, trying to force Nitro from his position, but uh, hasn't gone as deep as he would have liked. You see Fallen trying to capitalize. Now he's stuck in no man's land with a smoke in his hand, unfortunately for him. And Cold Zero will be taken down as well. A round on the board for Liquid. They don't need many, but it has been a while. With those smoke grenades, it's, it's an interesting thing because you kind of, you kind of wonder... Is the plan like what are they expecting the reaction from the CTs to be? Because if you throw those smokes down, the CTs probably evacuate long. But do you expect the T's to be rushing that position? Maybe just taking it, but rushing it? I I, I wonder because the whole point should be to pull a player away from CT spawn and to hold players on A. But I don't think that would pull anyone from CT spawn. It's an interesting one. It's something to look at again, I think, because yeah. I haven't seen that before. I, so I think I think part of the part of it is that they haven't seen it before, and it's an unusual play to try and maybe cause panic. Maybe you, know, you, you see something like that, you don't know how to react. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean, if they're running a B split, you, it has to be so that it pulls a player away from CT spawn if there was, if there was one there. Because that's, that's what you want to do. That's like the ideal situation. Isolate the two players on B, rotation's far away. It's, it's perfect if that's what the smokes are there to do. It would be nice to ask Fallen about it, but maybe you can do that. You seem to be talking to him on some level. What are they setting up now? I wonder if SK are gonna run the cat drop, where you drop out, you drop from cat. Like it looks, you make it look like it's an A play, but in reality you go for the cat drop, and it ends up being a, a split into B. Although there's nobody in upper dark, uh, dark right now, but uh, the the nades on the other side. That is always very very annoying as the CTs. And there's nobody in middle here, so this would be a really nice round to go B for SK. Yeah, they've got no eyes on the situation. Hiko playing under the window again. And here they come. JDM spots one leash, putting in work as well. This could be match point for Liquid if they keep this momentum up. 
but down go Pimp and Elige. Eco, all cold playing the information game, and that is a swift turnaround of events within one round. Yeah, that was kind of beast, actually. They they just, honestly, I think they were at a pretty big disadvantage in the execution with all the players of Liquid on the bomb site, but that they just crushed their entry frags. That is amazing. That is awesome. Cole's got a timing, man. He's got the timing. Here we go. Oh. Boom. See you later. That was very clean. Very smooth. This is what I do every, every round. Run down suicide. Just run into the A bomb site, James. That's what I do. That's my thing. That's all I do on this map. On the T side. I should play some more Dust 2. I queue. I normally queue everything except for Dust 2. Really? Plus Office and. Uh, and Italy. I like Italy. For me, as you know, if I solo queue, it's, it's only going to be Dust 2 or Mirage. Those are the only maps I'm going to solo queue. Personally, that's my, that's my thing. Although if I if I solo queue, I always I'm filled with regret if it ends up being cobblestone. <laughs> I would be as well. But you can do fun stuff there on cobblestone. Can't be too sad. Although some bits need a bit more cooperation, of course. That's that's the reason why I only play Dust Two Mirage because I expect zero co cooperation or team play with when I solo queue. So it's like, what maps can I play where I can actually practice stuff that benefits just me and my and like solo plays? Mirage is I find hard to solo queue because I want to take mid every single round on the T side, <laughs> and nobody else has any understanding of taking mid in solo yeah. queue. Oh yeah. So it's yeah. all A with smokes is the only strategy they have. <laughs> That's why I made a video called "Don't Be a Basic Bitch in Mirage" because everyone in in like pugs just is a basic bitch. They can learn <laughs> A smokes, <laughs> but they can't go beyond that. They're yeah, yeah. in physically incapable. Of doing so. In reality, it is quite a complex, a very complex map actually. Especially middle is very complex, but uh, I like I like the kind of engagements you can get from a, with a rifle on that map. So that's why I like running around on it. JDM's going for the money play. We've got two plays lost for SK now, and the net is closing in on them as they're stuck in the tunnel with a five-seven. Can he get another one? One's run past him. Nice stuff from JDM. He goes playing close. Or oh, fallen, not expecting he goes he goes to be right there. And this could be match point if it continues. Three players charging through the tunnel. AWP picks up on Nitro. Aww. And Pimp finishes things off. James, they got no Kevlar or nothing. They're just nudists running around with nothing but Today's not the best day of SK's lives. No, it's really not just five sevens. That is quite impressive. I mean they may honestly like it's kinda of like having a Deagle. Sometimes you just like sometimes you just get that round when that ten percent, you know, you, you know, you get the ten percent. Sometimes you 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 know you start that round, you have that hand and you get aces. You know, it's not very likely, it's very unlikely, but sometimes it happens. And I feel like that's one of those situations. And as you say, it's a bad day for SK because that's not the kind of timing for you to get a situation like that. Now they have to get six rounds in a row. They've already lost the first man. Fallen's going to be standing in the flames there. Gets nothing out of it. Just loses 40 points of health. And uh, rattles off a shot to no avail. Pimp is going to be there having a good time on the long area. Just chilling over here. Were they singing songs in, in the production room? I think I heard, I heard singing songs. I think they're drunk. <laughs> they lead over towards Goose. This is a similar setup to what we saw from SK in one round. JDM, the Molotov man, when he sees nades there, wherever he is, he's getting Molotovs down. Trying to cause problems, trying to slow them down. That's one way to do it. Shot straight into Taco's chest. Elise waiting. Does he realize the bomb's getting planted at the moment? The bomb is down, but so is for five versus two for SK to try and stay in this game. And that's one of the reasons why when you go for this strategy where you plant on short, you do not want that guy to be on Goose. It is really hard to deal with. Oh, it gets worse. JDM has had some great shots in this round. Look at the CTs on the mini map. They're just swarming. They're swarming. Fallen, you got to kill five people. Five. Five people. Elige will take him down and, uh, and relieve him of that burden. And Liquid are going to close this. They're going to not just close it, but they're going to crush SK. SK, man. They got 
I mean, the way Liquid played on Dust 2 on their T side was awesome. I loved it. I loved the first like seven, eight rounds from Liquid. They were really, really nice. And, and it feels very, to some extent,